What's going on, the gorgeous people of the gorgeous, gorge galaxy? It's Gorgina Gorge, and me back with another video. Gang, 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 gang. Make sure you are all about the gorge gang. If you ain't gang, you're lame. And if you don't want to be lame, like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave some comments down below. You don't know what to comment. Tell me I'm gorgeous, because... Duh. Then I got touched glitters, it turned to gold Been through so much shit, probably thought it would've turned me cold But fuck my past, them niggas prehistoric All that shit is old, I'm my own bitch now Not doing what the fuck I'm told Alright uh, y'all, it is Vlogtober day 14 Y'all, these we almost halfway through the mom Shout out to Gina Yeah! Video, like the video, like the video it is very much early, so if I seem, like, tired or, like, really lethargic, it's because I just woke up. But we got to get y'all a video, don't we? Yes. Yes, we do. We got to. What would it be if I just left y'all hanging one day? You're going to be like, oh, where did Gina go? And my excuse going to be something like, I didn't have time. I was sleeping. I gotta wake the fuck up. Sometimes you just got to wake up, sleep. You can sleep later, but that paper come first. You got to be up for that paper, okay? And I'm up. I'm up for the paper. We got some papers. And yeah, we finna get into this video for today. So, today's video, we are going to be doing some girl talk, but not like some, oh my God, girl, like, so, you don't know. No, like some very real girl talk. It's a um, community on Twitter, X, whatever, like. Y'all can't make me call that app X. Like, I'm too old for that. Maybe the new kids are, that just got on it, they looking at it as X. But me, that been Twitter. And I don't know why she want to go by a little nickname now. But, girl, you too old for that. You've been around too long and all of a sudden want to change your name. Like, who is you? Come on, girl. Your, your name is Twitter. And I'm going to call you what your mother names you. Twitter. So, on Twitter, there is a community called Insufferable Women Uncensored. And honestly, a lot of the tweets on it, the women are very much insufferable and very much uncensored. And sometimes the tweets pop up on my timeline because I'm not in the community. I don't follow the community. But, you know, Twitter got the whole For You page. They be showing you stuff that they think you want to see. And sometimes you really don't. And with this particular community, I be reading the tweets and I'm just like, these is women? Not little girls? Not young women, like these are actual grown ass women. Women with these situations and questions and talking about the stuff they still talking about their age of grown. That'd be my first problem. Like, at what age do y'all women learn to like think with your brain and like, I don't know, just know better? Stop making the same mistakes. Do women ever get smart? Oh, I'd be so confused. I, I just would really like to. Do a analysis check on every last woman in this community and make sure you actually a woman, okay? But I screenshot a couple of little questions and topics from this particular community and I'm gonna answer them because I'm not in the community. So this is my way of letting y'all know how I feel about y'all insufferable ass women. Girl talk. <laughs> Let's talk, girls, women. All right, so the first one, I'm honestly really tired of this, and I really feel like grown-ass women definitely should not be asking this, but <laughs> I digress. So, the first question is, what do I say to an ex if I want to get back with them? Please help ASAP. Once again, at your age, you're grown. Why are you asking that? And, you know, honestly... Wanting to get back with an ex is not really the worst thing to do. Everyone don't break up for bad reasons. So I can't even be like, if they're your ex, you should know better. Because that's not always necessarily true. There's been lots of people that broke up for like good reasons, for time reasons, maturity reasons. And they have gotten back together and it's been beautiful. So good for them people. But honestly, on a surface level, I honestly do feel like they're your ex for a reason though. Like, why are you even worrying about them still? But everyone's situation be different. So to this person that needs help ASAP, just do what you want to do. Why y'all go on the internet asking for help with shit that you can handle yourself? What do you say to them? Just be a grown woman and be like, hey, I know such and such happened between us. But what would you think about us getting back together? It's that easy. 
Very much simple. Be straightforward. A lot of y'all problems, especially when it comes to, like, the relationship and the dating and all that, y'all don't be straightforward. Y'all want to play games and, like, just tell people how you feel. The easiest thing to do in any situation is just straightforward say, hey, this is how I feel. This is what I'm thinking. This is what I want. And I promise you it'll be a lot more easier that way. Stop beating around the bush, playing games. Just say, you know what, baby? I miss you and I want you back. Can we like do that? And I, yeah. He probably gonna want you back too. Cause if you feeling it, he probably feeling it too. So why waste time playing games when you could just turn that shit off and talk? All right, so this next one includes a screenshot, but her question is, what are we thinking? How do I respond? Once again, I don't understand how people go on the internet and ask a bunch of strangers how to respond to text messages and other people. I feel like y'all zooming for the attention. I don't understand, because like, once again, at your age of grown, as a woman, you should already know how to converse and handle your own situations. I understand you send your screenshots to a friend and confide in like your confidants. But you know, maybe a lot of people clearly, they don't got that. That's why you're on the internet doing it, because ain't no way. And some of these things I see in this thread, like some of these screenshots, I wouldn't even let the internet know that people was talking to me like that. Because y'all be letting these niggas carry you and come at y'all all types of different ways. <sighs> I'll be damned. No. First of all, I'll be damned I'm not even letting anyone talk to me like that. But I'll be even more damned if I'm showing the internet that I got people talking to me like that. Like, where is my respect? No, it don't give. But let's go through this text message. So, <clears throat> this the dude. What are you doing? But you know, W-I-D. Which honestly, if a nigga texts you that, you already know he on some shit. Because like, what is that? I swear, that's the worst text message I ever received in my lifetime. And I'm honestly triggered by what you doing. Because I had a person that's all they were texting me all the time, every day, like, throughout the day. Like, what the fuck do you want? Stop asking me what I'm doing. Because especially me, a reason I hate that text message is because I'm a person that really don't be doing nothing. So you ask me what am I doing, the conversation already about to be dry because I'm going to be like nothing or I'm just chilling or like something very much boring because I'm a very much boring person. So don't be asking me what I'm doing. Anyway, back to this girl and her man. Or I hope this is not her man. I don't know. At the store, I miss you. Miss you too. You miss me or the sex. And I... Oh. I was going to ask you that first, <laughs> but I figured I shouldn't. I called you Tuesday because I was thinking about you, and then you hung up on me, but I miss you before the sex. I need some you. Got some good sex. And that's verbatim what to say. These niggas do not know how to text. I don't know what men were doing in school, but they was not learning. Like, I don't know it'd be perpetual. Like, I'm so serious. Why y'all don't know how to talk grammar or syntax? I'll be so confused. So, clearly, you miss my sex. Yeah, but I do miss you. Girl, first of all, the fact that he asks first, asks him, do you miss me or my three letters, that should already tell you that he's trying to bait you into that and make it seem like that's not what he's thinking about. You got to think like a man. They're doing a the reverse of the psychology of the G. So, he already know that he clearly is texting you for that. And clearly, he's saying you got some good, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you probably know you got some good, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you should already knew that that's what it's on. Like, this just gives. And then in the screenshot, she covered up his picture with a throw-up emoji. So, that shows you enough you probably shouldn't be dealing with this man. And why he hang up on you on Tuesday? That's rude. And then he gonna text you talking about some what are you doing? It definitely get fucked, nigga. Yeah, it do. And I would know. So, honestly, I wouldn't respond at all. Ladies, this is for everybody. But definitely, ladies, utilize your block button. Why do y'all have these men having contact to you when they don't have to? If this dude is keep hitting you up trying to get in your pants, your drawers, block them. You don't know how to entertain them. You don't got to leave them on red. You don't have to let them be able to look at your stories. None of that. Y'all need to learn to block people. A lot of women had this weird obsession with wanting to be desired by niggas that ain't worth desiring them. No. Just hit that block button to keep it pushing. There's really no response. He's already telling you straightforward what his intentions and motive is and why continue to waste your time. Why? You don't respond. You block. 
the button is there for a reason. Use it. Y'all hoes will block anybody before y'all block these men's. I don't be understanding what some women weakness be when it come to men's. Like, they ain't, like, what? Y'all be too, y'all be too, just, just too. All right, question. Are y'all okay with your significant other watching corn, but with a P, while in a relationship with you? Honestly, for real, for real, me, I think they shouldn't be. Because why are you watching that when you could be watching me or doing me? Like, I honestly feel like that's a form of cheating. And when we talk about the top of the corn in general, I've always found like that's weird for humans to do. No judgment. But like, what do y'all get out of watching other people do to do? Like, you're not involved. You don't know these people. Y'all don't think that is weird? I think it's really weird that in America or this world in general, there's a whole line of work based upon other people doing the do. And people actually tune into this stuff. Why? How horny do y'all people be? I just don't understand. And yes, I've seen corn before. I've looked at corn, but I've never been a corn watcher. I never like deliberately went on my way to look at corn. When I did, it was when I was younger and a little more curious. Because, you know, I didn't really know what the three letters was. So it's more of like research purposes, which that I understand. If you want to go watch it and learn something, figure out something, you curious, that's cool or whatever. Education is key. But when people realize this watch that for satisfaction, you start touching yourself and all that weird stuff. I think that is insane. You don't know them people. Go do that with people in the real world. You want to watch and engage yourself. Go call up some friends and be like, hey, can y'all do this in front of me? <laughs> I don't know. That's weird too, but I don't know. The whole concept of watching people do to do for me personally has always been strange. So when it comes to watching corn, especially if you're in a relationship, I think that is disrespectful to your partner. Because it's cheating. You literally are looking at another woman or man when you have a woman or man. No. At some point, y'all got to stop. It, the addiction to the three letters cannot be that serious for y'all people. That's one thing I hate about the generation. Y'all are so addicted to the three letters. It's not that good. And I have a lot of good three letters. It's not that good that you can't wait for your person to be in a mood and want to do it. Or to do it, period. Like, why do y'all gotta pick up your phones and look at other people? It's really sick to me. And y'all gotta stop doing that. And then y'all looking at people that look none like y'all partners and stuff. It's just weird. And then you be like, I'm not into this, but the girls you looking at look like, like, what? Come on now. No, I don't play that. And I don't like that. And I do consider it cheating. I do. This next one is probably the dumbest question on here. <laughs> what would y'all do if a close friend stole money from you, but really needed it? Did they really need the money or they really need an ass whooping? Because how bad do you need money that you're stealing it from a friend? It's giving y'all not really friends. Because what? And then once again, you on Twitter asking about this. Did you address this situation in the real world? Like, what? How you let someone steal money from you? You on Twitter asking about it. Girl, you don't get that shit back in blood. And how much money did they steal? Like... And how do they steal the money? Because, you know, nowadays, a lot of stuff is electronical. So if you actually had some legitimate cash on you and they touch that, they need their ass whooped. I'm telling you. Why are you touching my money? Oh, that is really disrespectful. And you really needed it that bad. And we really close friends. Why the f*** you ain't just ask me for the $20, 30 50 $100? Because if I had it, I'd give it to you. But if I don't, the answer, no, you're going to have to keep that shit pushing. Ask somebody else. But to steal... Stealing from people you know is literally like the worst thing you can do. Go rob a bank. Steal someone's credit card off the, like, out of the store. But someone you know, you crazy. That's disrespectful when y'all is not friends and you need to whoop the ass. I hope you get your money back. How much did they take? Like, I need more details for that because that is insane. I, I, wish a, I wish a bitch was 100,000 engine. I wish a bitch could. All right, next question. How many months do y'all think y'all should wait to meet your significant other parents? So, start off, it's no timeline when you should do anything. Once again, you grown. Move at your own pace. You don't need no one else's opinion. Do what works best for you. However, since you're looking for an opinion, for real, for real, I would say meet them as soon as possible. First of all, meet the person parents tell you a lot about them. Because how they grew up and where they came from, what they was seen when they was growing up, what their opinion and perspective on love is, all that coming from their parents. So I feel like you should meet some of parents as soon as possible. 
And also, what are their parents not gonna like? What are their parents are judgmental people, abusive people, crazy, like all these things? I feel like you should know that as soon as possible when the feelings for the other person ain't that strong. Because imagine you 10 years deep with someone and now you meet their parents, their parents hate you, their parents wanna fight you, their parents don't want y'all to be together. And it's all this drama that you could have avoided from the jump. Mind you, though, at that 10 year relationship point, if their parents are like that, I would hope your partner choose you over their parents. Maybe their parents is tripping, and no, you got a new family now with your new partner. So they shouldn't even be taking their parents' side in a situation like that. But I feel like you will want a healthy relationship with your significant other parents. So in order to ensure that, get to know them early on and see if there are people that you can get along with. You don't want to waste time and then find out in the long run the type of people you are. Especially, you know, you start having children, you get married and all that. Technically, this is your family now, too. You're moving into these people's environment and lives. You need to know what you're getting yourself a part of. So, when they talk about how many months, I would say about a good two to three, four months. Like, as early as possible. Like, as soon as you get to know this person enough... You start trusting them and you see them in your future. You need to meet their parents ASAP. Rocky. Eli. Don't waste no time or something like that. It's very much serious to know the other side of this person you are with. Now, if you can't meet both parents, I definitely say meet that mama. Because mamas have a big effect on people. A lot of us take a lot from our mamas. So definitely meet their mother. Because, you know, dads be, they be absent. They be dead. They be in jail. Like... At least try to meet the mother. <laughs> At least meet that woman. All right, the next question. Thoughts on boyfriend wanting you to get rid of things your ex gifted you. They don't hold any sentimental value to me. Strictly due to material value because they were nice things like shoes, bags, etc. Yeah, I don't think you should have to get rid of that shit. And anyone telling you to get rid of that shit, you're insecure. And the only reason they want you to get rid of it is because they know another man gave it to you, which once again is insecure. Y'all got to understand, everybody been with someone before you, or most people have. And honestly, say he didn't know where you got that pair of shoes from, that bag from. He wouldn't even be bothered by it. So the only reason he's irritated because he literally knows it's from another man, which is insecure. And... Like you said, it's no sentiment device. So it's not like you hold it on to it because, oh, it reminds me of him or he gave me that. I remember when he gave me this on my birthday or when I turned 23. Like, if, I can understand if he's giving all that. But how can you make someone get rid of something expensive? Like, come on, man. Are you going to replace it? I feel like if you're going to tell someone to throw away something expensive, you better have the money to get it back to them. Because what? Especially clothing items, accessories. This is a part of your collection now. How you just gonna tell someone to get rid of something that costs money that they didn't even have to pay for? Like they got something for free. Shit, for all the pain and suffering that relationships put a person through, the least they should be able to do is keep the fucking material things they get. It's even like when people break up and they want stuff back. Unless you got like a car or something serious in your name, I think that is the pettiest thing to do. Once you buy someone something, just let it be theirs. Because what really are you going to do with it? Like, if I buy you a pair of shoes, we don't wear the same shoe size. So why would I even want that stuff back? It's just to be petty. People be real petty when it comes to relationships. Y'all don't be using your brains no more. You just want to hurt another person. It's so stupid. All that giving my stuff back is childish. It's stupid. It's petty. You already spent the money, so what are you really getting back? And when it comes to shoes, accessories, and all that's already been used, how much money do you really think you're going to get back from it? Like, just let the person keep it. Y'all just be wanting to be mean to people. And that's why... <sighs> Girl, he's really making a big deal out of it. That's a red flag that he's a very insecure, very controlling person. And honestly, I wouldn't deal with that person. For real. Because it's never that serious. Like I said, if you wear the same pair of shoes and he didn't know where they came from, it wouldn't be a problem. So don't let the knowledge of knowing make you act weird. Like, it's a pair of shoes. She's putting her feet in them and walking around on them. I swear it can't mean that much. You're just jealous. And you probably can't afford to get her them nice things too, weirdo. Girl, keep your shit. Give her to him. The next question, do y'all think a man or woman looking at or just talking to another person is a form of cheating? 
I'm assuming when they say another person is like of the opposite sex or same sex if you into that. But um, it really depends on what you're looking at and what you're talking about. Of course, you can look at people. There's people all over the world. Like, you gonna look? Duh. That's, that's human nature to use your eyes. But you staring longer than you have to. Or you looking at stuff on your idle time. Like, you on this person's Instagram looking at their pictures, liking shit and doing all that other shit. That is cheating. Because, like, why are you using your free time to look at another woman? What? Nerd. No, 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 no. That's cheating. But if we're in like the real world and someone walk by, you look at them. Once again, simple glance. Like fat shawty. Like I'm talking about that joint poking out there. Nicki Minaj walk by. If you don't look, I'm going to think you gay. To be honest. But if you, you know, your neck turn a little too long. You stirring longer than you should. I'm going to beat your ass. Cause what, what are you looking at now? Like now you seem a little bit too invested. Look at me. Look at me. Fuck. Well, you can't get mad at someone for turning her head and glancing like a normal human being. Shit. Let some fat shawty walk past me. I'm telling you I'm looking. <laughs> that ass. I need to see that joint moving real time, baby. Let me see from behind, though. <laughs> so that's not cheating. And then going through the talking, once again, it's about what you're talking about. How often you talking to this person. Like, for real, for real. Okay. If you're in a relationship... It should not be no one else of the opposite sex that you talk to every day, throughout the day. None of that should be happening. No. That's too much time investing into another person. You can have simple, small conversations, high and by type-ish, and keep it pushing. But when you start, like, getting personal, it's once again, also, it depends on how long you might have known these people. If it's new people, definitely not. No, because you build in a relationship with strangers that you don't have to anymore. Like, what? What y'all got to talk about? Well, talk to me. Like, you can talk to me. What the fuck are you talking to nobody else for? So, it's real petty to say looking and talking in general is cheating. But you have to look at the specifics of what they looking at and what they talking about. And then that could be cheating. That wasn't a really bad question. It's phrased pretty dumb. But I feel, I feel what they was feeling. So, there you go. Alright, and the last question is, would y'all be a side girlfriend for 100k a week? I just want to start off by saying this. I'm so tired of side bitch culture. I don't know how the hell y'all want to be motherfucking Aaliyah's and wondering if his girl only knew. I don't understand it. But y'all got to cut it out. It is nothing cute about dealing with a man or dealing with another woman. And willingly, like y'all know, it's not like, because you know, men be lying. <laughs> I tell you what, these niggas be lying. They'll go home to a bitch every day and you would never know. I get that. But it's the women that intentionally, knowingly know this man is in a relationship and y'all have no problem with talking to him. I'm sorry, but you was in the wrong. All that, I don't know her. I don't owe her nothing. Fuck that. You know yourself. You owe yourself. Where's your respect for thyself? I'm sorry, me, especially at my age of grown. I would never be nobody's side anything. Now, back to the question for 100 k I probably would. Because, shit, I wouldn't even do nothing with you then. I would just be like, yeah, we, we yeah, I, I talk to you right now and then. Fuck it, yeah. 100 k a week? I don't know if I should turn down that type of opportunity. But on a real, on a real, real, no, I'm not doing that. Like, I love myself enough that I deserve somebody that's all for me. Being a side girlfriend is basically signing up to never be someone's main person. Which, I guess there's some people that's okay with that. Like, they like only having parts of a person. Which, once again, to me, is really weird. But do your thing, girl. Do your thing. But what you should really want is someone's entirety. And you cannot get that. Do not settle for less. I don't care how much you love, like, attracted to a person. You can find someone better, I promise you. Don't No one should be out here being nobody's side anything. And you wait for him to leave that bitch... No, even he do leave her. You already see his character. So don't you think when y'all do get together that he gonna do the same shit to you? He gonna have another side bitch? Like, you gotta think with y'all brains. Stop settling. Stop excusing shit from these men. You don't need them. The moral of this video is you don't need these niggas. If they can't give it the program, turn the TV off. Stop watching that shit. It's gonna be the same thing every episode. Next season. It's going to be the same thing. So just stop it. No. But back to the question. Yes, I would for 100K. 100K a week? Man, you know how sweet that is? I do a lot of things for 100K a week. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. 
money is my motive. I'm not going to lie. That's not the worst thing in the world, really. Morally, I don't agree with that behavior. But when you involve money, <laughs> why would I turn that down? I ain't dumb. <laughs> so those have been all our insufferable questions from our insufferable women. And honestly, like I said, they got to ID check these women because how old is y'all? At a certain point in the world, it has to get to a, you know, place where we not have any same conversations. We should learn to know better, especially us black women. Like, come on. We we be setting ourselves back with our decisions and our choices. Some things to take away from this video is block him, kill him, stop entertaining his bullshit. If you follow those three easy steps, I promise you will be less insufferable, a lot more happy, peace at peace. And yeah, you're going to get to what you want. A lot of y'all women is unmarried and unhappy because you would rather do this dumb shit for the rest of your lives. At a certain age, you're grown, baby. You got to choose you. You got to stop settling. You got to stop entertaining dumb stuff. Because, you know, unfortunately, men do not mature at the same rate as us women. So, as a woman, we already lose a couple points when it comes to dating. Because our pool of fishes are dumb. They're goldfish. They're idiots. So, it's already hard enough finding the good goldfish. So, take with that what you will, ladies. And that has been Girl Talk with Gina featuring insufferable women. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, comment down below. That thread is, oh, that community. Sorry, I'm thinking of Reddit. That community is always going crazy. So I can always go there and find further questions that we can discuss. If you have your own personal questions that you feel like are too insufferable to even put on the internet, personally send them to me. My social medias are all linked down below. And subscribe to my channel for more more videos pertaining to girl talk, more videos pertaining to Gina Perry, because why would you not want to see more? Like, <laughs> if you like me here, you're going to like me everywhere else, because it's always Gina, always, mm -hmm. very much so. So subscribe to my channel, like this video. Like I said, leave some comments, 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 comments. I can't stretch that, stretch, stretch. Stress. I can't stress that enough. Leave me some comments. I don't know why y'all don't want to talk to me. Like, don't y'all be watching the videos and be like, oh, she seemed like a real cool person to talk to. So talk to me. <laughs> I'll talk back. Check my report card. I respond to comments. I don't feel like I'm a curry you. I don't do the currying. It's too heavy. You probably wear like a hundred something pound. What the fuck I'm doing currying you? No, I'm cooled off that. So subscribe, like, comment, and above all else, stay gorgeous.